Now in Vigo County, officials are raising concerns over ballot issues for this upcoming election. And today, the Vigo County Election Board held an emergency meeting to address these concerns. News 10's Jevin McCoskey was at today's meeting. He explains what's next. The Vigo County Election Board, along with the public, met for an emergency meeting on Sunday after concerns were raised that voting machine ballots could favor one candidate over the other. Last week, both the Democrat and Republican Party chairman jointly wrote a letter asking for the correction of what they viewed as an improper ballot. After reviewing the letter, John Kessler, president of the Vigo County Election Board, called for an emergency meeting. Kessler explained why he thought an emergency meeting was necessary. When we did the public testing of the voting machines, I saw a situation that I thought might cause confusion and mistake by the voter. That confusion was not having all candidates' names appear on the same screen for electronic voting machines. Rather, a red Next button at the bottom of the screen would send you to another screen that would have the rest of the candidates' names. While no laws were broken, many members of the public argued that the ballots do not meet the spirit of the law. Vigo County Clerk Brad Newman explained that while he understands the public opinion, he does not believe the issue is large enough for the cost it would take to fix. After the creation of the ballot, it turned out there were a few races where you could have to scroll to see all the candidates. There was nothing intentional or nefarious with this process. One of the public members was County Commissioner Brendan Kearns. He explained that while this affects him directly, it's more about the people casting the votes, not who the votes are casted for. It's a simple fix. It should never have gotten to this point. John, thank you for doing what was right and standing up. At the end of the meeting, Kessler made a motion for the ballots to be fixed, but neither Newman or Republican board member Brian Garcia seconded that motion, meaning that nothing will change to the election ballots before early voting begins next week. Take a listen to the immediate exchange of words between incumbent Commissioner Kearns and Republican Commissioner candidate Mark Clinkenbeard. Congratulations. Right. I think I won't yeah. send them a note to tell them. I know that. I know that. Clinkenbeard did not provide a statement following the vote. No action will be taken before early voting begins Wednesday, October 12th. Reporting in Terre Haute, Jeff McCoskey, News 10.